Welcome back to the Storm Tracker 9 Winter Forecast. All right, so now is the time for the official winter forecast. I know you guys were looking forward to it at home. I'm definitely looking forward to it. First things first, uh, we kind of need to look at the Eastern Pacific and what's going on to kind of give us an understanding of what's expected this winter. Yeah, absolutely. The most important thing to start off with here is the fact that we are indeed in a sort of weak La Nina year. And you can tell that by the cooler temperatures out over the Eastern Pacific. Of course, this is an oscillation slowly taking place right now. And you can sort of see that sloshing of the cooler temperatures in, which definitely has some really big reverberating sort of uh, issues that it brings to us over this winter. Yeah, that's kind of a balance system, right? So as we cool temperatures in the eastern Pacific, we warm those in the western Pacific, and that oscillation creates a differential in the jet stream, which is already active in the winter months when you get these uneven temperature changes, but it's almost exacerbated in these years and kind of directed toward the northwest, right? Yeah, sure. So you, when you watch that jet stream start to drop down towards the south, of course, that does start to introduce the cooler temperatures into the area. And you know that all of our weather is sort of started by these perturbations in the jet stream. So when you get that closer to our area, it means things are more likely to be active. Yeah, and weaker high pressure systems over Mexico during this time frame as a result of those cooler temperatures allows the jet stream to kind of dip a little bit further south. And that's why we're expecting some wetter conditions here across the northwest. But the key is this is a weak La Nina year. This is kind of a transitional season into the full fledged La Nina event. So I know a lot of people here in the northwest hear La Nina they think big snow, big rain. That is not going to be the case this year because we are entering in that, correct? Yeah, so it looks like things should be just relatively typical. We do just have a little bit more of a chance for it to get a little bit colder and wetter here because just like you said, this is just one of the weaker La Ninas. They can actually last a couple years, so we're probably going into a stronger one as we get into next year. But it does just give us a sort of good guess at what things are likely going to be towards. But of course, you can't rule out any sort of quick changes that happen with some more dark horse type events. Yeah, and it's more or less kind of a generalization of what we're averaging uh, for the course of the winter. And that being said, kind of like what you see on your screen right now at times, we could have that cold air interacting with the moisture and that could mean a sudden burst of snow or an ice storm like we saw last year. Now, uh, even though we're entering this weak La Nina year, that doesn't mean that we can't see above average precipitation or slightly below. This is kind of a generalization into the upcoming season. And as we both kind of know, uh, anything past uh, three or four days is subject to change out there. Yeah, you uh, definitely end up with some problems if you try and go way too far out on a forecast. So the generalized, that's certainly something you want to keep in mind because we can always have sort of a, a, a fast short wave that comes through and then you end up with potentially something like the ice storm we saw last year. But mm -hmm. it is a good just general concept here. So this is obviously what you can expect going forward into the next couple months. And that's a big understanding too is last year was an El Nino year. We kind of transitioned toward the second half of that into a Nino Nina season and that's kind of how these uh, seasons go. A lot of people think it's black and white El Nino, La Nina, but this year it's actually going to be kind of a gray area as we're kind of transitioning into that. So it is something to be uh, keeping mindful of. You are going to notice some changes from next, next last year, I should say, uh, and that being slightly more rainfall than what we had last year and also slightly more snowfall. But as far as temperatures go, it could be slightly cooler, but also a little bit warmer at times. It's all dependent on those daily differentials. Yeah. And and it's important to note too that the slightly warmer or slightly cooler variations are going to change if that is snowfall or rainfall. So mm -hmm. we could end up with a year where we have above average rainfall out over the mountains and sort of typical snowfall just because of when the timing of those cold flashes comes in. Yeah, and it's also highly dependent to kind of look at the local forecast and we're going to be updating these daily. Uh, but long story short, we are going to be expecting a pretty active winter, uh, very comparable to average, but it is certainly going to be an interesting season ahead. Yeah, absolutely. That's how it goes in the Pacific Northwest here. So just get ready for a lot of wet conditions. Exactly. That's why we live here and we love it. Well, that's all we have for this special edition of KZI 9 News. Thanks for joining us and we'll always have the latest weather on the Storm Tracker 9 app and online at KZI9news.com.